Trump is showing how mean and hateful he plans to be by shoving in his sexual offender buddies. Let's just call it what it is. Trump's so angry and hostile that he was found guilty for civilly raping Eugene Carroll, like you said, found guilty on 34 accounts in New York for Stormy Daniels, and she was able to testify what happened. Um, Tom, yesterday, one of your callers, Billy, was saying, oh, the Justice Department just doesn't have a leg up to stand. Um, what he doesn't understand is the future Attorney General, Gates, um, paid each of his girls 10000 on Venmo. So he, he, he thought he was so sneaky putting it on his son's phone. Didn't he think that could be traced back to him? And is that what kind of an AG we want? Right. There's also um, a question about whether his son, who is just, I think, 10 years younger than him, um, or actually it might be a little younger than that, um, was really his wingman and that he yeah. just, you know, quote, adopted this kid uh, in order to get access to young girls. I, you know, I, I, it's, it's pure speculation, but, you know, what's going on with this? I mean, you know. Uh, Today in the New York Times, there's even more proof. They've shown a chart of 40 payments to girls for sex. What a brilliant AG, laugh right. out loud. Right. And um, for Garland, of course Garland won't put it Papa Don, Papa Don, Matt's father, that's what he's called. He's a multimillionaire. Baby Gates is what they referred to Matt. Don has been helping baby Matt all along with this. And, uh, of course, Garland wouldn't stand up to that. And, and in political, they say there are a lot of congressmen who owe Don. So what do we think is going to happen? And uh, this... I'm sorry, breaking down. It is just so absurd that he he's putting these people in for revenge, and yeah. that they're probably going to get in. This yeah. is such a dark time. Yeah, I, I do not think that there will be hearings on these people. Now, uh, that could mean that he's going to withdraw them. Likely is that he's going to figure out a way to either do recess appointments or uh, acting appointments so that he doesn't have to put them through the... Uh, through the ordeal, as it were. And I blame Justice Roberts for taking voters off the rolls. I blame Mitch McConnell for being such a meek little chicken not to impeach. I blame Merrick Garland. Why didn't he resign if he couldn't handle the job? Mm. I, uh, <laughs> okay. I, I have a silly thing to tell you. My husband came home, and first MSNBC was on, and he flipped it. And the news was even worse. Yeah. And he just screamed. He screamed, oh, I want to bury my head in the sand. Yeah. He goes, isn't that what you always say to me? And I said, no, because when I watch stuff, he wants to turn it off. I said, I, I don't want to live in a bubble. And I said, and I agree with you. Now I wouldn't mind living in a bubble. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you saw Ellen DeGeneres just moved to England. She said, that's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I, don't, I, hope so I don't have that luxury. <laughs> Most of us don't. Uh, Jessica, I'm sorry, I'm out of time. I got to run, but thank you for the call. It's 20 minutes past the hour.